What's up guys, in today's video I want to show you how you can trade r slash cryptocurrency moons to other cryptocurrencies. But first, let me note two things. I will only show one direction of the trade, which is how to sell moons. But if you want to buy moons, you'll have to do the exact same steps, just in reversed order. And second, I already made a post on Hive some time ago explaining how to do it. It's shorter than this video, but also shows all steps, so if you want to read a tutorial rather than watching a video, check out my post, it's linked in the description. Okay, now let's get to the actual topic of this video. We are going to sell our moons for XDAI, which you can then use to trade for Ethereum or other cryptocurrencies. Normally you can sell your moons for Nano too, but this option is not available at the moment. Let's start with looking at the requirements for doing this trade. You need to have MetaMask installed and edit the RinkBuy test network and the XDAI network. On the RinkBuy network you need to have some Ethereum to be able to do transactions. On the XDAI network you need to have some XDAI to be also able to do transactions. You can also choose to sell your moons for Nano in this case you would need to have a nano wallet that receives your nano. Okay, so as I just said you need to have MetaMask installed and two of the networks added. So the first network is the RinkBuy network, which you should have automatically uh, set up if you have installed MetaMask on either Chrome or Firefox. So the next network that we need is the XDAI network, which you can simply add by going to this website here, it's xdiechain.com. I will put a link to it in the description. And once, what you have to do now is you go, you open MetaMask, you click this button at the top here, and you click on Custom RPC. And now you add xdi for network name. You add this URL here for the new RPC URL. You add this number here for the chain ID xdai as the currency symbol and this link here for the block explorer and then you click save and once you have done that you will be able to choose xdai from this list of networks here. The next thing that you need to do is get some ethereum on the ring by test network. To do this you need to go to this website here it's faucet.ringby.io and then you just go to metamask copy your wallet address then you add the wallet here, click the give me ether button, do this capture here. Before actually doing this, you need to complete one of those things here. So you either do a tweet containing your Ethereum address or you create a Facebook post also containing your Ethereum address. As you can see here, the surrounding text doesn't matter, just your address has to be in one of those tweets or Facebook posts it's to confirm that you're an actual person and not a bot. Okay, the next thing that you need to have is some XDAI on the XDAI network. So if you don't already have this, this step uh, can cost you a couple of dollars with the current Ethereum fees. So for doing this, set your MetaMask to the Ethereum mainnet go to bridge.xdiechain.com a link will be in the description and then you click connect here and connect your metamask wallet so what you also need is you need to have some DAI on the ethereum mainnet which you can then use to get xdai on the xdai chain so you enter any amount for example 10 dai you click on transfer and then you have to do this transaction so as you can see here at the moment it takes around $16 worth of Ethereum to complete this transaction. That's actually pretty okay, it was higher before, but you only have to do this once. So I would advise you to put some more DAI um, in this transaction. I don't know, 20 should be uh, more than enough for everything that you will ever do on the XDAI network. Uh, but it doesn't even need to be that much because you can later exchange your moons to XDAI and then you will have enough. So it's just this, this first transaction to have enough XDAI so you can do transactions. Alternatively, you can also of course ask someone, maybe he will 
transfer you some XDAI so you can do transactions. Okay, so once you have completed the previous steps, you can now finally transfer your Reddit moons to your MetaMask wallet. So for that, you go to MetaMask and you need the uh, Ring by Test Network wallet that you have. Um, so in my case here, all of those wallets run on the same address. So it's the same address, just on different networks. But theoretically, you could you could also use different addresses for this. Uh, yeah, but then you copy your address, you go to this uh, page here. This is the r slash cryptocurrency subreddit, just the homepage of it. And then you will see the option to transfer moons. And then you click transfer, you add your address here. And then you enter any amount. So for example, let's, let me add 50 moons and you click send. You have now to approve this transaction on your phone. So for that, simply open the mobile app and click on approve. Okay, so this transaction could actually take a couple of minutes to complete. But once you have done it, you will see your moons in your wallet. So for me, you see a very big number here. It's because I didn't have set up the uh, moon token properly, but you don't even need to do that. And at this point, you could theoretically sell your moons for nano, but there is an ongoing uh, spam attack, or it's called a spam attack by the nano people, uh, ongoing on the network, which led the owner of this website to take it down because there was a time frame a couple of days ago where you could basically not do any transactions on the nano blockchain. But if it would be available, you could do it here. So instead, we will do this other way where we will switch our moons to the XDAI network, as I already said before. And for that, you go to moon exchange dot heroqapp.com and you will need to set your uh, metamask to the ring by test network and here you can already see that uh, we have some moon already you can by the way also use this tool for exchanging the brick token of the fortnite subreddit i put a link to the uh, to this tool into the video description also and it is pretty simple so you click the exchange button in this from field you put in moon and in the two field x moon and then you simply put in the amount of moons that you want to transfer. So in our case it's 50 moon. You click the exchange button. A MetaMask transaction will pop up asking you to uh, confirm the transaction, which you do of course. So now you have to wait and keep open this tab while you are waiting because you will need to um, confirm another transaction and you sh uh, should still wait until this is completed to ensure that you actually get your tokens. Okay, so once this uh, pop-up at the bottom disappears, uh, you know that the transaction went through and if you close, this, you close it, you can also see that now you own 50 x moons. So the next step, and this is the final step, is to actually exchange your moons to another cryptocurrency. And for this, we will be using Honeyswap. It's a Uniswap clone um, on the XDAI network and you can use it to exchange uh, different cryptocurrencies. So as you can see here, the moons on XDAI, that's how the, how the XDAI token is called here, is trading for 7.77 cents. And to exchange it, you simply click trade here. Uh, you click understand and continue on all of those things and then you will see this exchanging screen here where you choose your X moons on the from uh, side and on the to side you can choose any of those currencies here. There are many tokens from the Ethereum blockchain here. Um, I am actually not sure if you can uh, trade or send any of those currencies back to the Ethereum chain but I know for sure that you can do it with XDAI, so we are going to uh, sell the moons for XDAI. So you put in, you want to sell 50 moons, you will get uh, 3.8 dollars for it. You click swap, you confirm the swap and you confirm the transaction. As you can see here, the gas fee is around 7.3 cents, uh, which is usually not so high, uh, but it's certainly cheaper 
than the Ethereum blockchain. And then you need to wait some time, but it's pretty quick. Yes, and your transaction was confirmed. So now you have XDAI and to use this XDAI, I don't know if there are any exchanges out there that take XDAI directly, but you can go to this XDAI bridge, you change your MetaMask wallet to the XDAI network, you log in again and then you will be able to send those XDAI back to the Ethereum chain. But you have to keep in mind that the transaction fees are extremely high. So you will need to pay $70 in Ethereum fees if you want to go this way. Yeah, so that's really a problem. We, of course, all hope that it will be fixed in the near future. Yeah, that's the reason why I would uh, always check to see if this nano bridge is working. If it works, sell the moons here. Even if you get a much lower price here, usually around one or two cents lower than on Honeyswap. Yeah, but you can always use Honeyswap to buy the moons and uh, to hold them or maybe even pay the subscription on the subreddit without having to go this uh, uh, second step of transferring your XDAI to the Ethereum main chain. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope I could have helped you and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if I explained something in the wrong way, just leave a comment. I'm sure other people would appreciate it and of course I would really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.